me, Sailor Moon here, and today I'm going to talk about, you know, so for like the last time, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about AEW, and then this will be the last time I ever talk about them. Now, AEW, which is owned by Shao Kahn, but it's mo it's halfly run by his son Anthony Kong and Cody Rose and Brandy Rose and Kenny Omega and Nick Buck and Matt Buck and many other folks and a lot of AEW followers, not all of them, but some of them believe in a lot of bullshit. Like, first off, one of the first things that some folks that irks me or I don't like by AEW is that they say they're grown up. Yeah, that's what they do. AEW will go around and they will do things that a lot of folks will say is, you know, childish. Like, you know, if you're on YouTube, you'll be either for kids or not for kids. Well, AEW would be like that YouTube fairway that says they're not for kids, but then lies and starts doing things that are for kids. And then when YouTube learns about it and says, hey, you're not, you say you're not for kids, but you're making films for kids, they'll say, well, it's grown up. It's not the same thing. So what I mean to say is they got, so they'll say they're grown up, right? But they will do things that are not grown up. Like, they have a team of bears. I'm not making this up. And they also have a, a dead weight, which they call loot, which they call the fighting source or whatever, I don't care. But they got a dead weight. And they do things that are childish. But they'll go right around and say, oh no, it's not childish, it's grown up, it's not the same thing. WWE is the only one that does the childish stuff. And a lot of their followers believe it. They go around and they scave WWE and shame WWE for being kin friendly and stuff. But they offshoot from what WWE does. So if it's wrong for WWE to do it then it would also be wrong for you to offshoot from it. You can't have it both you can't have it both ways. You can't go around and say you're for grown ups and then do shit that's for kids. Either you're one or the other, you can't be both. Another thing the AEW likes folks to believe that oh they're treating it like it's a true sport. Well the truth is the true wrestling or the true sport of wrestling is the is the kind where two wrestlers get on the ground get on the ground or on a mat or something, you know, and they do holds to each other until one wrestler yields. And the wrestler gets more yields as the winner. Now that's the true wrestling. You're not doing what's known as beginner wrestling or the true wrestling. You are doing skilled wrestling. A offshoot between a farseer show and a film and a sport. Don't lie to anyone. Another thing I like to do is a whole ranking layout, which is bullshit. You know, you know how in sports they have a ranking of how the teams are and which teams won what games and which teams didn't lose games, and the teams that win the more games are the teams that get booked to go to, I don't know, either it could be the Over Bowl or the World Saga or the Stanley Cup. I don't care, whatever it is. You know, and the team that doesn't do so well in the rankings of losing games doesn't go to the end game. Well, AEW likes to do that with their wrestlers. Oh, these wrestlers win a lot of fights. They're going to go for a winnings. They don't lose so many fights. They don't go, they're not going for the winnings. Bullshit, you write and book the show. You'd say who wins and who loses. So cut the bullshit rankings oversight. And another thing that 
that irks me or some folks don't think about AEW is that AEW followers think that it's owned by, by Anthony Kong. They truly believe this. Yeah, he's one of the half owners, but the true half owner, the other true half owner of it is Shao Kong. But Shao Kong's too busy. He's got a football team called the Jack. He's got the football team. He's got a cart making business. He has a another football team over in England. He's got many offshoots, including AEW. You know? So, AEW thinks they're more greater than WWE, but they're not. It's a belief. It's a thought. There is no truth to back any of their belief up. Another thing they also believe is AEW is WCW again. It's not WCW. I don't care how many times that either Shao Kahn, Anthony Kong, Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, Brandy Rhodes, Nick Buck, Matt Buck says it's WCW or behaves as if they're WCW. They're not WCW. Hell, they're not even. They're not even. They're not not using AMW, which was the former name of WCW. So at the end of the day, those are the things that I don't like about AEW and the things I scave about AEW. Another thing before I end this film is AEW followers like to bitch about how Big E Langston is in on, on every Monday. And Roman Reigns is on every Friday. Yeah, well, your your heavyweight fighter likes to show up on every Wednesday and every Friday doing his bullshit Silver Surfer skip. And you folks like that. So if you're going to bitch about Biggie Langston or Roman Reigns being on every Raw and every SmackDown, then you have to bitch about Kenny Omega being on every Dynamite and every Rampage. So, alright, that's just my scathing and my thoughts on AEW. And if any AEW follower out there doesn't like me scathing AEW, go, too bad. I have the right to scave it. You know? And if you want to scave WWE or say shit about WWE, go right ahead. I don't care. I heard it all before. And I don't care what you say about WWE. Alright? So if you like that film, then follow me over here at Sailor Moon for Life. Or watch the last film I made over here. I'm Sailor Moon Serena, and I hope you like this film. Bye.